Hey, what's up, guys? This is Sol from Tech Explorers, and today we're going to be finally starting off our programming languages tutorials, and uh, obviously I'm very excited. Today we're going to start off with a programming language called Turing. It is uh, for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and the reason I chose it uh, to start teaching you guys, it's because it's pretty unknown, and it's very basic, and it will get you to know the foundations and stuff like that. It doesn't have that many functions, but you can do a lot with it, even though it's kind of limited. So yeah. Uh, go, just go to this website uh, over here, compsci.ca slash Holtsoft, and uh, you can already download uh, it for Windows, for Mac or Linux. You can just Google it, and I'm pretty sure you can find the download link. So once you have that installed, this is turning basically. It's kind of like a text editor. It's really simple, but it does a lot of cool things. And over the next couple of tutorials, you'll learn that. Let's get right into it. I've already created this website for you guys on my personal domain, uh, soldawa.com slash turing. You can get it, and I'll put the link in the description bar, by the way. I've already had two programs over here added, and uh, and all you have to do is go into turing and type them in. So let's see what the first one does. Oh my gosh, it says hello world. Uh, this is actually quite important because this, believe it or not, is your first function. Put uh, tells the program to, uh, or the programming language, to write, when you run the program, to write hello world onto the screen. It's very cool. And uh, let's just see what would happen if you took out uh, the, pre or the quotes and the put. Well, it would give you an error, obviously, because of the fact that it thinks that hello world is a variable, which it is definitely not. And speaking of variables, let's get right into it. For people who don't know uh, languages already, variables are kind of uh, things that have uh, uh, values that you that can change. And um, right over here, let's just uh, talk about this programming language a little bit. Uh, there, so this is declaring a variable called number, okay? And its value is an int, which is an integer. So yeah. And by the way, Turing is case sensitive, so if you have a little, like, capitals or something like that, it might mess it up. So what it's going to do is put, basically just writing on the screen, what's your favorite number? And uh, finally, our second uh, function that we're going to learn today is get. And what it's going to do is get the number from the user. So it's going to have, like, a typey thing, and all you're going to have to do is type in a number. And then it's going to reply with a statement. It's going to type on the screen, ah, so. And then we pause for a little while to give room for the variable over here. And then it's going to say the variable, which now has a value since the user inputted it. And it's going to say, ah, so number is your favorite number. And obviously the number in blue will be replaced with the number that the user input. So let's run this program here. What's your favorite number? My favorite number is 5. Uh, so yeah, and I just press enter, and ah, so 5 is our favorite number. <laughs> it's actually pretty dumb, but it's really simple, and that's, that's the thing. That's the start of programming in Turing. It's so easy, and it's, um, it's the closest thing to actually talking. Imagine, you just come up to a person, say, there, a number equals int. Put, what is your favorite number? And the person replies, get number, and put, ah, so number is your favorite. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm going a little crazy right now, but I'm a little bit programming happy. <laughs> so yeah, those are our first two programs. Over the next couple of, uh, tutorials, we're actually going to start doing a lot more programs. I know this is just two. I didn't know how long this would take. It's about four minutes right now, and I thought it would take longer, but apparently I talk too fast. <laughs> so yeah, this is it, you guys, for our first uh, part one tutorial. Join me for part two, where we learn a little bit more stuff. Uh, I know this is kind of simple, but um, trust me, it will get really fun, really exciting, and it is all here at Tech Explorers. I'm Sol, and I'll see you next time.